Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of representing equations for multi-step problems. This is standard 5.4b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 14 off the 2017 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Theo is earning $500 selling food. So this food is just a large category here. So part of it is for uh, selling nachos and the rest is for selling hot dogs for $2 each. And then he used this equation, which they've given us right down here, to find the number of hot dogs he sold at the carnival. So if we've got this total here of, let's say we've got $500. That's the total that he earned, if they, gave the, if they gave us that right at the very beginning. And then he sold nachos for two sixty. dollars So we're going to kind of cut this into chunks here, and we'll say nachos for two sixty. dollars And then he used the rest selling hot dogs for two dollars each and so we need to find the number of hot dogs well first what we need to do is we need to figure out first how much is this little chunk that's left and then once we figure out that chunk that's left we've got to figure out how many two dollar hot dogs can you sell out of that chunk so that's why we have a subtraction first we're going to use subtraction to, to figure out what this chunk is and then we're going to use division to figure out, out of that hot dog junk, how many $2 hot dogs can we sell. So let's also keep in mind our PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, because what this does is this gives us the order of operations. And so you notice we have a parentheses here first. So we need to go ahead and take care of this parentheses first before we do anything else. Let's make sure we take care of that parentheses, and that is going to be 500 minus 260. We are going to need to regroup just a little bit. And so that's going to get us 240. So there we go. Let's call that 240. That's how, many, uh, how much money he earned from the hot dogs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this, and instead of 500 minus 260, I'm going to write 240, because that's really what that simplifies to, and then divided by 2. So we've done our parentheses. We don't have any exponents. Now here's the thing. Next we see multiply and divide, but they are equal. They are inverse operations. You can do either one of them first if you happen to see them together in an equation. Whichever one comes first, left to right, they're both equal. You don't necessarily always have to do multiplication first. So we are going to go ahead and do that multiplication. Then at the end, we're not going to use any of these, but we have addition, subtraction. They are also inverse operations, which means you could do either one of those first. So 240 divided by 2. And let's just do long division here. That's going to be one digit at a time. Two goes into four twice. So there we go. One more zero. 120. It looks like our answer is going to be this 120. Now, let me show you how important these parentheses are. Because if we didn't do the parentheses, h equals 500 minus 260 divided by 2. Let's say we took the parentheses off. Well, order of operations We've got a subtraction and a division. We would actually have to do this division first, right? So we'd have to do the 500 minus, and then 260 divided by 2, that's going to get you 130. Then we would do our subtraction, and that would be 500 minus 130, and that is going to give you 370, which is one of the answer choices. 380 is also an answer choice in case you just barely got it wrong. But this is incorrect because it ignores the order of operations. That's why that's so important. Our answer is J.